Hello everybody, welcome back to the Phil Reed Podcast. Um, this is a strange one today because I've never met the guy to my left. <laughs> We've spoken on Instagram. This is kind of how life is these days. You speak to people online and then you meet them for a podcast and you share your yeah. life stories. But next to me um, is a young, a very successful young chap and I'll let him introduce himself. Thank you very much. I'm happy to be here. i um, been watching your podcast. Uh, hard to follow up from him, man, but I'll try my best. <laughs> yeah. um, but yeah, my name's, uh, well, I, I refer to myself as HK um, and I've been sort of on doing online stuff for the past two years. I started with a clothing brand um, and then that was when I was 17 in lockdown. Uh, and then I switched over to um, sort of like drop shipping. Um, and that was just like a completely different uh, world of drop shipping because it wasn't, I wasn't running ads. I was actually blowing up videos to make them go viral to then convert the products into sales. Ooh. So basically like we'll get into it but one of them it was like my very first one um the very first store i did we did 30 million views on, on a single video no um and it did crazy like it did like we did like 50k in three days in sales wow. and like for me i was like at the time i was still in school so i yeah. was like yeah bro i woke up for an exam that morning <laughs> and i was like oh so i backtracking i, I messaged my my um my business partner and I saw the video was at 3 million views but I wasn't actually logged into the Shopify on the sales mm. so I was like to him like oh, why haven't you got any sales because I hadn't had any notifications yeah. I log in and it was like 8am um, so from midnight till 8am that 8 hour period it would it was like 4k in sales Wow. and I was just like holy shit because that, yeah. that has never happened yeah. and I was just like this was just as I I'm pretty sure I was just turned 18 or something yeah just turned 18 um, and I was on the way to school to go do a shitty exam yeah and i was like this is crazy and then i think from that day onwards i was just a bit like like school's not for me yeah so i previously had met obviously you had franco on um a month before i'd gone and bearing in mind he just turned 17 i was 17 and he was moving into to canary yeah and i went to to the day he moved in i was i went with him and i was like bro i was like f like 40th floor and obviously you know josh as well yeah um, and I'm really good friends with Josh and we uh, and it was like 40th floor in Canary he's 17 and at, at the time I wasn't really in the world too much I, I didn't really know the potential and the the, the actual um, things that you could achieve at this age yeah. and then when I saw that I was like whole, like I'd like it was like I went into it it was like my whole world changed yeah, yeah. because it was like damn this is like really achievable yeah, like it's yeah, crazy yeah. what you can achieve like yeah. this guy's living in a crazy apartment at 17 so then when i remember coming back home from the train um and just thinking like oh, how am i gonna, like i need to i need to go crazy i need to go yeah. hard like i can't i can't settle for an average boring life of going to uni and, and just fucking slaving away to be like oh working for someone to make three four grand a month whilst i'm at, at 35 years old yeah like i need to i need to get my my mind and and, and utilize it to to a, a, a better a better skill or a better something to to make money instead yeah. of having to rely on other people mm. dude that's mad so going back to what you first said then so you had you basically created content yeah the the video that you made got 30 million views yeah. And because it got such a wide reach and, and, you know, the audience was there, you were able to then sell a product off the back of it. Yeah. Which is different to other people yeah, where yeah. they actually pay for ads that is pushed to that person yeah. deliberately instead of organic. It's organic. Yeah. It's like user-generated content. Exactly. Agency, right? So that's smart. That's yeah. free. Anyone and we, and we were that. like one of the first people to do it. So yeah. like... Me, so so the way that it worked is me and my business partner, he was involved in the dropshipping world. I'd run a clothing brand um, and done six, six figures on, on that in lockdown. We can get to more in, into that in a bit. But we went into um, the dropshipping thing and, and we basically saw this product. And, and the way that it works is he had a product. Um, it, it was this guy in America on Hollywood Boulevard and he was going up and you've probably seen the product. It was like a candy gun. It was like when you press it, a yeah. lollipop comes out. Right. Like a lollipop like folds out. So he was on Hollywood Boulevard, like shooting it at girls, blah, blah, blah. And they were like opening their mouths, like grabbing yeah, their yeah, lollipop. Yeah, yeah. And the videos did like 10 million views and, and stuff like that. And we knew that because it had like, it had a, a Shopify attached to the TikTok. So we were like, these guys are making so much money off of not even paying for ads. Yeah. Because at the time I'd actually just got banned off of ads for, for my clothing brand. Mm. So that was one of the biggest setbacks I'd faced. I've said in multiple other podcasts, but I was like, 
like on top of the world sat in my um in my on one of my school zooms because it was a lockdown at the time i should get a notification you've been banned off facebook ads mm. and like at the time like facebook ads was like all i knew so i was like oh shit yeah, like, yeah. it was like a proper like grab into the chest pull your heart yeah. out like i don't know what to do here so <clears throat> um and then yeah we transitioned over to that and i was like holy sh like you can make videos go viral you don't need to pay for ads yeah if you just know how to make videos go viral that's it and just choose a product and and make that product go viral it will convert and, and i know it's it might be hard because i always get it on my tiktoks as well it's like hard to believe that it's actually but i swear to god it's crazy like it is the the lip the the potential of TikTok and and the short and the wave of short form content like Reels, Instagram, YouTube Shorts is is just crazy at the moment. And honestly, utilizing it at the moment is it's, it's like there's not never been a time um, at this point in time of, of for people to make money online. It's like, and I know you you're gonna be sat there so oh it's easy for you to say like, but I was in the same position that you were in. I was in the exact same position two years ago that you find yourselves behind the camera that you were in as well. I was there like, nah, there's no way this is possible. Nah, there's no way that this can actually happen. But it's just, as soon as you actually just throw yourself into the deep end and just start making things work, it's like the hardest thing, people always ask me, what's the hardest thing? Uh, the hardest thing about everything. And I'm like starting. And they're like, what? Just starting? And I'm like, honestly, the hardest thing about anyone getting into online money or getting into drop shipping or getting into FBA, whatever it is, is, is actually just starting and putting yourself into the deep end, getting your foot in the door because so many people We'll just put it off because, and this is going to get really deep now, but uh, and I, I spoke about this with my friend the other day, but I, I want to get it out. I want to, you know, say it onto, you know, YouTube or say it onto TikTok. I think that as we've grown up and as we've been brought up into this society, that we've always been put in within a box of our own self-belief. So it's like, you know, when you're at school, they say, you, you, you're going to get these grades. So, you know, you're never, you're never told to shoot, shoot, beyond your, shoot beyond your means. You're always told... You're gonna get a seven or you're gonna get a B in your A levels. You're gonna get a C. So aim for that. So aim for, th they never tell you, oh, try aim higher than that. Mm. They're trying to tell you, like they're keeping you within a box of, you know, shoot below where we think you're gonna get and never aim higher because you're just being unrealistic if you do that. And I think that's, I think that's played into, into society where people think that they can't aim higher than they actually are. So it's like when, when it comes to drop shipping or anything, people are like, Oh, it's not gonna work. Oh, it's not. It's like it's not possible because people like they've literally been intrinsically told and, and wired to be like, oh, you know what? I'm not gonna believe in myself because I don't think it's possible because you know, oh, that person just got lucky or that person just did this. I feel like we've just been told growing up to be to be realistic, but the sooner that you learn how to actually just believe in yourself and have a sheer, um, I always call it like a sheer delusion. You have to be delusional in your success because you have to seriously believe it that even when others don't, you will. Because if you're not going to believe in yourself, then no one else will. So it's like you have to have a sheer delusion of, of belief in yourself. And that's all it takes is just have a sheer, delu sheer delusion of belief and also have a, a, an insane amount of work rate. And honestly, you'll see that the, the things that you want to achieve will become possible. Mm. And that's what I think. I think that's what we've sort of been growing up to be like, oh, just believe this. You can't believe that because yeah. that's not in your means. And I always say to people, I'd rather shoot for the stars and aim for the moon than shoot for the sky and land back on the ground. Mm. So it's like aim to the highest heights. And if you don't get there, then okay, you've you've gotten further than you than your mind was capability of setting. Like if you set a bar and there's a bar here, it's better to aim for this one and get higher than the bar that you set then actually just fall short or, or at the minimum mm. that you expected. I think it's always best to just shoot, just just believe in yourself to achieve better things and, and they, they will come. Mm. I guess everyone, everyone probably wants better for themselves and everyone wants to make loads of money. What do you think the main reason is for young young people? What do you think, why do you think they're not, why do you think a lot of people aren't successful even though they want to be? Is it because they don't take the risk or? I think, I think, yeah, I think it's one, t taking the risk. I think it's two, like a lot of people are quite uneducated. So mm. obviously I run a Discord um, where we sort of teach the dropshipping. We have a massive commun community and it's sick. But a lot of the messages that we always get in there is like, like it's crazy, like it it's actually mad, but we get it on the daily basis of like, is this a scam? Is dropshipping a scam? Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. And it's like, for me, now that I'm in that world, now that I'm in this world, it's hard for me to take myself back into their shoes and be like, how do they like, mm. how do they actually question 
is this a scam blah 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 mm. and people are always coming in like oh but like when I go to uni, blah, 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 I'm going to like earn this and it's a stable income. I think, I think a lot of people are just scared to take risk. And I think, yeah. I think one of the main problems is, is people are actually scared to just throw themselves into the deep end. Yeah. Because as humans, we like, we love to be comfortable. Mm. It's the reason why Deliveroo is so good now. It's the reason why Amazon is so good because it's click of a button, it's to your door. Mm. You don't, you know, us as humans, any any easier way, like even for our phones, it's like they've made it so you can just press your thumb on the phone. Mm. Any 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 way to make it easier for humans to do short, tiny tasks or even big tasks so they can do it instantly. It's the reason why Netflix is so good because it's, it's just a click of a button. I feel like that's why another thing it's like one people just think it's easy people just want it easy people don't want to put in the work and the hard work and it's and it's like not to be a bit um uh like stereotypical of, of my generation but i do feel like a lot of people just don't know what hard, hard work is yeah and I, I feel like linking back and the reason why i've sort of gone into this world of i've always anything i've done so i used to play football growing up like quite high, high level um and even then, like I was always taught by my dad, my granddad, and they're like, oh, they're like old fashioned, work as hard as you can for your family mm. um, and just put in the absolute grind. And, and I saw that and, and that's, they taught me the, 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 the valuable skills of the meaning of money, the meaning of how valuable, but, but actually the meaning of hard work to get your money. Mm. And it's like, I always carried over that skill into all of this stuff, even though it might not be the same thing because they're like, they do like hands-on carpentry, blah, yeah. blah, blah. Um, I've always learned to, you need to, whatever you want, you need to work hard at it. It's not going to be slapped on a plate for you. No one's coming to save you. The only person that can save you is yourself. So you can't rely on, you can't wait in around. Like there's a quote, there's a quote, good things come to those that wait, but, but, but even better things come to those that go out and get it. So I think that it's like, you need to just go and get it because it, it's, you shouldn't be waiting around for anything because you're the only person that can change your life. Not your mum, not your dad, not your grandparents, no one, not your best friend. In my personal opinion, you know, you're the only person that can change your life. And I always say this to people, you can lead a horse to the water, but you can't force it to drink. You need to be the one. It's only you that can be responsible for, for changing the way that your life is. And I know it might be easy for me to say, but I've been in the exact same shoes as you behind the camera. You know, I've, I've never grew up with I never grew up with rich parents or, you know, I grew up with single parents. My mum and dad are both hard workers. I, I don't have rich parents. People always have that misconception just because I'm well-spoken that I've got really rich parents. Like I went to a normal shitty school with terrible measures and, mm. and you know, it's like I, I've not grown up with a silver spoon. I've, I've, I've learned from, you know, my dad's just a, a, a normal guy. Like, as much as I love my dad, he's, he's just a normal carpenter, you know, and, and that is, I'm not, I'm not saying like, oh, that's a bad thing, as much as I value that. I mean, like, I'm trying to say, like, I did not come from from rich beginnings. People thought I was just born into a world of being rich, but that that's just not who I am. That's, mm. that's, that's not me. Yeah. So it's like, like I was saying, you need to just throw yourself into the deep end and just work, work, work. Yeah. I think it's just, and, and you, yeah. you'll know that as well. It's just yeah, like, yeah. you're not going to come from, you're not going to be able to succeed without any hard work. Yeah, yeah. I know, I, I relate to it. I mean, with what we do, the more the more hours we put in, the more effort, the the bigger the output, the bigger the result. Um, and I also can relate to the fact that people like to quickly presume that oh, you've come from yeah. a wealthy family. It's you, frustrating, isn't it, it? it? Yeah, yeah, it is a little bit because it. And also, like, how lazy for someone to just presume that of yeah, you. Yeah. It's kind of like just just use your brain and understand that people can make money. Let's give everyone a bit more context to you then. Yeah. So, went to school. Obviously, didn't go to uni. Did you? Did you? It's a two-part question. Did you drop out of school yep. or did you finish? Okay. Um, I know you didn't go to uni. And then after that, I'd quite like to know what your income streams are at the moment. Yeah. Okay. Because you strike me as the kind of guy that isn't just focusing on just one thing. Yep. So yeah, tell, tell me. Okay, so yeah, um, I was always a very academic kid. Um, and I was like, it was not a case of me being like, oh, high school dropout, I can't get good grades, blah, blah, blah. I actually, in my GCSEs, got, um, you know, like four nines. Like, I got like A stars across the board. Yeah. Uh, my GCSEs, and then going into my A-levels, predicted A star, A star, A star. Um, but to me, like, that that holds no value, right? So I know you might be thinking, what? Like, 
when I say that, people might think that I'm like boasting, but to me that literally means like, for me that means nothing because I don't, like I like since I've left school, I've not used a single, anything re related to GCSE, anything related to A-levels. And, and people are like, oh, people are always like, oh no, you must use, like, yeah, maybe the basic English or stuff like that. But I swear to God, I've never used anything, any of the, any of the stuff that they try to teach me in A-levels about fucking history and, 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 mm. um, and like Gorbachev and stuff like that and like all of that all of that stuff I've never used any of that I've never mm. utilised any of that so it's like I went into GCSEs um, and, and the reason is I was never you know I was never like the kid that was just like oh I could just get GCSEs without you know uh, putting in the work I was like I actually always grew up as a kid of I just wanted to be the best at, at something and I would put in the work to get it so whether that was football was like GCSEs that was the main focus at the time so I put all my time into that and just like make sure that I got the best grades because I wanted to be better than everyone else but then I sort of like got into sixth form and that was when I started like seeing and, and this this was like the first year um, and the second year was sort of when um, COVID happened yeah and that was like when I had a lot of time to start to see these other things where I was like Oh shit! Drop shipping. Oh okay, um, this, this, and that. And I was like, I was always um, a kid that quite creative. So I was like, I always wanted to make a clothing brand. Mm -hmm. I was always, always so passionate about making a clothing brand. The idea of people wearing it um, and stuff like that. But but at the time, I that was the only thing I sort of knew that I could do. I didn't know about drop shipping or yeah. Amazon FBA or anything at all. I just knew about oh, making a clothing brand that'd be cool. So sidetracking i was i didn't go to uni um i i sort of dropped out uh at, at the end of my sort of uh last year of sixth form i was at a point where i was like i do not care about this anymore yeah so i stopped going in i stopped okay. paying attention in lessons i started just focusing on you know i was sat in school like re like doing drop shipping in school like mm. in my in my pastime in, in like the common room and stuff and I was just like at a point where I was like, fuck school, like yeah. I can't. And it was at, it was that point where I went to Franco mm. and he just made me see like, holy shit. Like it's it's like school. Because I always thought school was the be all and end all. That's what they that's what they tell you. Yeah, exactly. Like they say like you need to get good grades because you need to go to uni. And it's like, well, actually, no, I don't need to do that. Yeah. But, but yeah, you're right. And the culture around it as well is like, it's like when you're in sixth form, mm. everyone is like, oh, if you're not going to uni, oh, like, you're stupid. Yeah, I know. Like, it is, it is like that heavily. Yeah, little did they know that you're actually not, you're actually incredibly <laughs> yeah. smart for doing what I you know, do. and it's like, it's like, I think a lot of people can relate as well. Like, a lot of people that will be watching now can relate to me that it's like, so many people will tell you that, oh, you're wasting your time. Like, even your parents, I've had so many people, like, even my, my mod, uh, or my mod, like, one of my good friends that works on the, Econ Palace with me, his parents tell him like, oh, like you're not gonna go to uni, blah, blah, blah. Like, oh, I can't believe this. What, like, oh, yeah. what, like you're like, not just like, they're not like, oh, you're a disgrace, but they're like, they genuinely make him like, feel yeah. like he's worth like, like he makes <laughs> makes him feel like shit. It's a generational thing, isn't it? Cause that, back in the day, that's, that's all, that, that was the best option. Yeah. So they, I think it's, it's hard for them to see that there are other options, better yeah. options now. Cause they just know like brick, they just know, you know, brick and mortar. Exactly. And and for parents as well, they like the idea of saying, oh, my son's at university studying yeah. this and he got this graduate job in this big bang or whatever yeah. it may be, <laughs> which which was the, the unfortunate case for me now I look back. but So tell me, okay, what was the most that you made while you were still at school? Um, in a day. The most I made in one day is uh, 15K. You made 15K? Well, not all the comments are gonna be like, oh, you didn't make that. That was yeah, yeah, like yeah. that was sales on Shopify. Fifteen k sales. Um, it was probably about, it was probably about 50, 60 percent margins. Oh wow. Um, so yeah, the margin obviously because we do organic is like the mar you don't pay for ads. You're only paying for the cost of goods. Mm. So it was like yeah, in one day that was when I was still at school. Oh, so it was like um, six seven k. Yeah, pretty in a much. Day. So, um, and then over the next three four days, it was like, it was like it was like over the period of four days, it was like fifty k, in four days. And you netted 20, 25? Yeah, probably about 20, 25. Um, Jesus, and you were seven, 17 at the time? And I was, yeah, 17 at the time. Um, what, what did what did your friends at school or college think? I was like, I've always been, 
I, I've always been the guy to keep to myself, so I was never really tell telling people because it was like, mm. I don't really care about validation of people in school and stuff like that. Because it was like, at the time, I was like, more validation of like, because we, because that's how I met Franco and that. It was like Clubhouse, yeah. this app called Clubhouse. Um, so I didn't really care. I was like, well, I was not really going around school being like, oh, this, this, and that. Because it was like, I believe in evil eye and stuff like that. Mm. People hating mm. on you and, yeah. you know, stuff like that. But yeah, it was um 15k in a day i have the receipts to prove it anyone that's really? gonna be in the comments being yeah. like oh, you'll, oh you'll, blah, blah, blah. You'll, you'll have the haters no doubt but. um and i remember actually vividly like that day was i had a history exam late for the exam my teacher was fuming and i remember just thinking like oh fuck you, you <laughs> yeah, know, yeah like yeah. but yeah i remember going back to my dad's that day and i was having dinner with my dad's and um I was just showing him and he was just in sheer disbelief. Like he yeah, was yeah. like, is this real? He was like, no way that's real. He's like, yeah. like, but like in a good way, he was like, no way, yeah. no, that's, is that real? And I was like, yeah, like it's pretty, pretty crazy. Um, was that the moment that your dad kind of gave you some sort of approval to carry on? Yeah. So, so this is the thing. My dad is always, my dad is the most chill guy ever. He's always been whatever, you, like if I, if I turn around and said to him in, in the first year of sixth form, I'm going to drop out. He'd be like, cool yeah. do whatever you want yeah. because he didn't have a levels or anything yeah. like that yeah so he, he's he was always the most chill guy like my dad's like he's the most supportive man ever uh, and so is my mum don't get me wrong but my mum was always always the one that was a bit like you need to go to uni because because she always just wanted the best for me yeah and she always just wanted me to go to uni she always just wanted me to because i was good at academically she was like go to the but yeah that was sort of the day the, the clothing brand was was the the you know, the, the spanner in the works. The clothing brand was the bit where she was like, mm. holy shit. Because it was like, my mum was helping me deliver orders and stuff like that. Like, yeah. But yeah, with the clothing brand, um, when I was 17, um, we did like, in just one month, like we did like 50K. Mm. Um, I, don't, I don't know why I said we, I mean, I did 50K. Um, and in total with the clothing brand, I did six figures. Um, and the profit margins on that was probably about 30, 40%. Okay. Um, and that was when I was still in school. That was when I was in, it was in lockdown um, mm. and I was still 17. And yeah, we sold like, I don't know, we sold like 4,000, I think we sold like 5,000 hoodies or something like that. No, 5,000 items in general. Wow. And I was 17 going to school and people had no clue. I was just yeah. like, cause it was lockdown. I was just like, kept myself to myself. Um, and actually I said this on another podcast, but that when it, when I really like, this is mad and this is going to be very very tiktokable content yeah. but um basically what happened was um i was in a three-year relationship um and she basically cheated on me um and when this was on a 17 and then off the back of that it was like i utilized and this is what i always tell people in my in my in my discord on on econ palace i was always like utilize your anger and 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 i always say this physic term where it's like energy is not um, created or destroyed, it's transferred. Mm. So utilize your anger, whatever it is, whether you're angry about your parents not having much money or whether you're, not, you're angry about you not having much money, transfer that anger into motivation to fuel you to go harder. Yeah. So, when that, so when that happened, when she, you know, when we broke up and I was just a bit, I was just like, fucking hell. Mm. Um, that next month was like the most money I'd ever made in my life. Cause I like for the next 30 days, mm. although it might've been unhealthy, I was just, I locked myself in my bedroom and I was like, I'm not going to do anything but work. Yeah. Um, and that was when I, I did like a 40, 50K month with the clothing brand. Um, and yeah, it was it was pretty sick. And then, and then yeah, I moved on to, and then two months later, that's when I did the the um, Send Gun. You can type it up. I don't, I don't care about saying it. Is that what it's called? Uh, yeah, it's called Send Gun. Send Gun. So basically it was a champagne um, sprayer. Oh yeah. Um, you put the thing on the end of, you put like champagne or beer on the end of the gun, it sprays out. Yeah. Um, we did 30 million views in like two, three days. I think I saw that. Um, yeah, you probably, like, like so many people, I remember after as well, coming into school, like afterwards, like towards the end, being like, oh yeah, like that Senga, that was me. Yeah. And they were like, no, like I literally liked yeah, that. Yeah, and yeah. they were showing, and, but yeah. Um, and then, yeah, so transitioning on from there, um, where, what, did, what did I do next? So we then made, um, I then moved to my first apartment. Yeah. At, um, I think I just turned 18. So I moved to my first apartment at 18. Really nice apartment, Deansgate Square. Yeah. Um, and that was like a big holy shit for me because mm. it was like, I've moved out with my parents. And it was like a really nice apartment, yeah. pool, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, 
and I'm not even saying that to boast. It's more to say like, what is actually like, what is possible? What is achievable? Um, and then, yeah, so I moved with my business partner. Um, and then, yeah, we were just making stores from then. We did a, a, a store um, that was like laser pointers. Yeah. Um, and yeah. we did, I don't know, we think we made like 10, 12K from that. Yeah. Um, we did like a two, three K day, nothing as big as the other one, but it was still decent. And then, yeah, we just, we were just putting up stores, like literally constantly putting up stores, bouncing off each other, like working, yeah. stuff like that. Um, and then we sort of fell in a little bit of a trap of like partying and shit oh, really? like that. Did you? That was a little bit of a, yeah, that was a bit of a... Right. Let, let me give some context now to listeners. So you're based in Manchester. Yeah. You live in here. Um, you're in one of those tall... They're called the ecom towers, aren't yeah, they? Really, yeah, pretty like much. there's pretty influencers and ecom people. Yeah, OnlyFans and oh, like, yeah, OnlyFans that... girls, like influencers, really? fucking bro, Love Island people. Like yeah. it is rife with. So is that why you got lost? And yeah, caught in a trap yeah, and pretty much. Okay, fair enough. I mean, it's fine. Yeah. You're young and you've got money and yeah. You know. It was like sort of. So I'd never been to a club before. Mm. So when I turned eighteen, I'd never went to a club. Yeah. So my first club in Manchester was like the likes of like. Where you get a table and you yeah. know, like chi- like for for anyone that knows in Manchester, like my first club that I ever went to was like Cirque Live, um, and it was like where you get a table and it's not like a normal club. Yeah. It's like where you look to the left of you and Marcus Rashford is sat yeah. there. You look to the right of you and fucking Raheem Sterling is yeah. sat there. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. not like a normal club. Like yeah. it, and it, my head was just spun. I was just like, this is crazy. Mm. Like this is like I feel like I'm in a dream because yeah. I've always been a big football fan as well so it's like to see that and I was just like this is mad yeah like it's actually it was like a pinch me moment mm. and it was just like not even for the fact that they're footballers it was just the fact that holy shit like a year ago I was just sat in in history class absolutely depressed being yeah. like yeah what am I gonna do with my life and then now I was like holy like this is crazy yeah but yeah that that is we sort of fell in a trap yeah um, that's that's okay though I mean I, I feel like I feel like most people will at some point but yeah. the fact that you've the fact that you identify it, you, you can move on from it. Yeah, it's better that I've, I've been able to be to realise it instead of exactly. continuing it. So now then, I'm going to be cheeky and ask, like, what sort of what sort of numbers are you pushing? <laughs> now? Yeah, now. Um, what, what's, what's like a weekly or monthly? Damn. Um, C- can you say? I don't know. I don't know if I can say. Can you say like a, a ballpark figure? Um, I could say... Oh shit! Over okay per month is it over? Are you netting over ten k? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Comfortably. Yeah, yeah. You're netting over twenty five, or is it around twenty? Close. Okay, so around twenty, 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 twenty five. Yeah. Okay, that's uh, that's fair, fair play to you. But yeah, it's pretty, fair play. Pretty, that pretty that's that's in, that's incredible. And from that, then, are you still doing your um, online stores? So is it still drop shipping? Yeah. So it's a mix of drop shipping. Um, influencer stores. So I've actually worked with. I did a. I. I don't know if I can say this. I worked with. Do you know Sneeko is? Yeah, I do. I worked with Sneeko. Did you? Yeah. Why? Um, a merch drop clothing clothing brand. For his merch. Yeah, for, like we did um merch drop like a month or two ago. Wow. Um, How did that do? It was pretty mad. Yeah, yeah. It was very good. So so I I um learned a few things from Mister Mister Cool himself. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Um, yeah, did like a few merch stores um, with uh, big YouTubers. So one of them being Sneeko. Oh, nice. um, and yeah, so that was that's one thing that I do. Um, the other thing is drop shipping. So I sort of don't actually run stores by myself anymore. It's more like um, I'll do like a split. So it's like 50-50, like I'll do this and they do that. Yeah, okay. It's easier to manage time yeah. rather than like me trying. Because uh, the thing with organic as opposed to ads is ads is like more... Um, financially consuming like you put in more money blah 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 you pay for ads yeah but organic is more time consuming mm. so that's why it's so good because anyone coming into organic with whether you got a hundred pound or a thousand pound or ten grand in the bank you're all on a level scale yeah because it's like there's no it's more about the time you put in and the videos you make as opposed to how much money you've got and yeah. how much money you put in yeah. that's why it's so good for people that are just getting into it to start drop shipping or start organic because it's like they don't have to have a massive large sum of, of money to get into it. You could start with fifty pounds. Yeah. Like my first store where we did fifteen uh, k in a day, literally spent probably thirty pound. Yeah. Like that's mad. Do you know what I think is crazy at the moment? Any new entrepreneur, or business owner, or whatever it may be these days, I think I think they're content creators first. Yeah. And then they're business people. Yeah, yeah. Second, if you understand what I mean. Like, yeah, I get that. With you, what you do, I mean, 
obviously it can be the other way around, but I feel like content creators can have, or I guess can be very successful because if you can create content and have a following and people like you as the brand, you could do anything and sell any product, which is, which is mad. And you can create content, which, which can go viral and you can sell off the back of it, which is, I think that's crazy that content is so important these days. Oh yeah. Especially now as well. It's like short form content. Yeah. Everyone's doing it. Like TikTok, reels, Instagram, um, shorts. Yeah. Like, it is the wave. It is the wave. Like it's it's the way forward because it's so easy. Like I was saying about how people are lazy earlier. It's so easy to just scroll, 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 and and I will ask the re like I ask the viewers. I bet you don't even remember the last five TikToks that you watched yeah, because no. if you try and imagine the last no because way. it's so fast yep. and it's so fast paced and it's so you know data 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 mm. in your face. It's like you don't remember. You don't remember, and it that's actually kind of scary. But um, yeah, weird. It's like short form content is is the wave everyone's doing it and it's like it's so easy to go like not easy like i'm not gonna say oh, it was so easy to go viral but it's like that one video can literally just change your life like that video that did 30 million views literally changed my life yeah. and it's like it was like from just posting a video it was, it was a five second video yeah a five second video it's mad are you are you happy with the amount of money you're making now mm, no i'll never be happy even if i made a million a month really no because i'm like wired to be like what's next all yeah. the time which could be unhealthy, but it could also, mm, it's a case of like, I'll never be satisfied because I guess that's the reason why it's so good because you're always chasing better. Mm. It's like that Matthew McConaughey um, speech, if you've ever heard it, yeah. he was like, oh, I'm always chasing myself in 10 years, years, time. T- yeah, 10 yeah, years yeah, time. Yeah. So it's like the reason why it's so good is like, I'm never going to get to it. I doubt I'll ever get to a point and be like, I'm satisfied because I can never imagine myself being like, Oh, yeah. what am I doing today? What, just boring, fucking around. Like, I've, that not, I've not got nothing. I've not got anything to chase. I've not got anything to build. I've not got anything to really do. And it's like, don't get me wrong. That is sort of what the end goal is. But I don't think that end goal will ever be achieved yeah. because I'm constantly trying to earn more, make more, do more. Um, is it? Is it all about the money for you? No, nah, n- not really. It's more about the freedom, but it's also about having something that you can just constantly chase. Yeah. It's like having meaning, having something as well as like legacy, not legacy, but I guess it is legacy. It's not just about money. Realistically, money comes and goes, but you know, time will never come back. Yeah. So it's like make most, it's like me make most of my time with, cause, I, cause I'm providing myself the freedom with the money that I get. Yeah. So it's like, it's also a lot about my pet, like the, the, the main reason at the back of my head every single day is like my parents, my mum and dad, like providing for my mum and dad. I don't want my mum and dad to work anymore, Mm. stuff like that. And I've actually helped, um, I've actually, I do help my mum and dad quite a lot. Mm. Like my mum recently moved back to Spain um, and I sort of, you know, helped her out a little bit with that. Um, And and like my sister the other day, my mum was like messaging me like, oh, like your sister's like struggling to get a job out here. Mm. And I was like, oh, okay, well check. I was like, oh, check her bank. And I just sent her like a sum of money, like quite a big, like not not like a crazy, but I sent her some money and my mum sent me a video of her like crying her eyes out. Really? And I was just like, that means more to me than anything. Like any, many money I can make, that means more to me that that seeing the impact that I can have on my family that means so much to me, my parents and you know, my mum, my dad that have, given everything for me mm. to then give back. That's all I want to do. Yeah. And, and it's like, my dad's so humble that I was like, I said to my dad, like, I said to my dad like three months ago, I was like, I'll buy you any car you want. Mm. And he was like, I don't care. Really? He was like, I don't want that. He was like, as long as you're happy, I don't care. Wow. And he's genu- he genuinely means that as well. Wow. So it was like, I was like, wow. And that, learned, that taught me a lesson as well. Cause yeah. it was like, money is not everything. It's the people that you have around you. It's, and, and, and it's gonna be weird because people like, for example, like my girlfriend and my best friend, they're gonna sit there and go, oh, what, you, know, you, all, like, you care about money a lot, but yeah. it's actually not. It's, it's, it's more about what comes with the money. It's more it. about the fact that I can provide for you or I can make you happy or yeah. I can do this, this and that. Or yeah. like, for example, like with my girlfriend as well, it's like, I'll just buy her like, uh, like for example, I'll just, I'll just buy her like a, an expensive gift and not for the reason to be like, oh, I can just buy an expensive, like, it's, yeah. it's more like, what it means to her yeah. and it's like she, she that means a lot to her so it's like to have an impact on her emotionally 
to her for her to be like wow like hold like that means so much yeah it's like more than what money can buy it's like it's more than what that you know it's the it's the feeling that people get from you doing yeah. nice things yeah you know Without nice doubt. acts of service and it's it. and it's another thing sorry to cut you off yeah. but actually what i do now with the econ palace so for anyone i've not even really spoke about it much but i i run like a a community that has eighteen thousand people in wow. a discord that oh we can get onto a really good a really good cliff in a minute mm. but we got completely hacked the server stolen really yeah bro it was fucking crazy but yeah so we got a, a community of eighteen thousand people and i see like bro and it's so hard to believe and it's going to be hard for people to even believe on tiktok but there's a 13 year old kid in my group that made six grand in a day in in, in a day or like in like four or five days and there's like there was like some guy that I had a call with last year, a consultation call mm. that was doing no numbers. He did 50, he did like 70K in a month. And that was probably like 50K. Oh and he's God. in my Discord and he's like, oh bro, he's a goat as well. And it's just like every single day, there's always like 16 year old kids, 17 year old kids, 18 year old kids sending in their results yeah. from, from the palace, like from what we've done. And that to me means more than anything. That's crazy. Because I was in that position so for me to be able to provide them a position to get out of quote unquote the matrix or get out yeah, of yeah. them having to work a nine to five job, that means insane amount. Like honestly, it, it, it means like more than anything. So it's like when that 13 year old kid sent that, I was like, this is not real. That's this mad. is fucking like, this is like, this is unbelievable. So it's like that as well is like a massive thing for me to just sort of open that and just see like this person's done that, this person's done that. It's because to me, they're a step closer to get into where sort of the position that I'm in. They're a step closer to not having to worry about A-levels. They're a step closer to not having to worry about what uni they're gonna go to or yeah. what job they're gonna get because they can go on and do other things from that. Yeah. So that is another thing which is is just pretty mad. Okay, so um, do, you want, do you want to show one now? Yeah, yeah. I'll just try find it. It might be right at the top because we have so many results in there every single day. Yeah, no, no worries. But like, like just, off the, just off the top of the, you know, off the top of the head as I'm scrolling, Yeah. This was yesterday, decent month, first store that kind of popped off, don't give up. So this was some guy that's never done drop shipping in his life. He, he said first month, Yeah. he did 8K in the first month, right? And that's completely organic. So he probably made like 5K. Right. And then and there's some so what, guy. So what's he done then? He's just found a product to sell. He's found made a product. some content. Yeah. And, he, and some customers have watched the content and thought, oh, I'll buy that. And then he's converted them, yeah. yeah. into Yeah. And he just made videos. Um, that's mad. For that, this this is one. This is a girl in our group. She's um she's one of the people in the in the Discord. She made 10k in a month in her first month, and Bloody this hell. guy did 42k. Wow! In a month. And so these yeah, these, are, these are all people. These in, are all people that. Are, but in your yeah in your Discord in my Discord. What, so what what do you do? It, do you do you give advice? What what is the Discord for? So yeah, basically, it's like it is. So there's two, there's sort of like two tiers. So it's, it's, so the, it's called Econ Palace and there's a one tier that's called Palace Knights. There's one tier called Lords mm. um, and Knights is like 25 a month, Lords is 80 a month. And basically what I do is like, I'll be on there doing calls every single day, teaching them everything I know. And there's like, there's channels. There's like, when you pay, there's like 50 plus channels with like, how to build a website, how to find products, mm. um, literally everything, how to increase average. So this is yeah. more specifics, how to increase average order value, how to increase conversion rates on your stores, how to work with influencers, how to work with YouTubers, mm. how to um, this, this and that. We even drop products in there for them. So it's like everything that you need. Yeah. And it's like, I always say, and the reason why the the, the community, cause it's cause so many people are trying to do it now. So many people on TikTok, we get so many people stealing our shit is because it's actually hard to make a good community to where you over provide on the value that they pay for. Yeah. So it's like what they pay, I probably provide probably even like a hundred times more. Easily. Because if, if they're yeah, making exactly. 10, 20 grand and they're, exactly. they're paying 25. Exactly. So I'm providing them. And, and that's what I've always wanted to do. Even when I do clothing brands, is I just want to over provide because if you... If you over provide on the on the value that they pay for, the customer's always going to come back. Yeah, I like so that. it's like that's why because obviously it's monthly. It's like if I didn't provide, or if I didn't give them good information, or I didn't, you know, provide the best possible um, um, guidance. Yeah, then they just wouldn't come back. They would just. But but our com our like 
ch- um, I don't, I'm not sure what the specific rate is, the, the subscription rate as in who stays on, yeah. into the next month is something like 70%. That's good. So 70% of people stay on. Yeah. And there's also like a lifetime um, where you don't have to pay monthly. Okay. And there's like, majority of people just buy the lifetime. How much is that? After the first month. What's it's that? It's like four, five, four, five hundred pounds. Oh, right. Okay. So they just buy it after the first month because they're like, holy shit. This yeah, is it's sick. worth it. This is worth it. Yeah. So it's just like, it, it's just, it's just insane. And, and I love having this community because it's like, we all just get on well. Everyone just speaks with each other. Everyone helps each other. Everyone does stores together. Mm. And it's like, I never had that as a kid. Like yeah. I never had that, not as a kid, but as a 16 year old, a 17 year old, I literally was out in the dark. I come from a, a small shitty town where everyone just thinks going to the pub every weekend yeah. and drinking beers is the way of life. And they do that for the next 30, 40 years. But no one in there, no, like, I swear to God, apart from one of my best friends, Jack, there was not a single person in my town that wanted to do better than any any other, you know, they didn't want to do anything like a clothing round drop shipping. Yeah. They just wanted to focus on, you know, just, I don't know, just going to the pub. Yeah. Like yeah, it was yeah, like, yeah. so I didn't come from, I always grew up with no one wanting to do that. So that now that I've made a sick community, it's, I think it's the one of the biggest in the UK mm. that it's got 18,000 80, people in it. It's crazy. Um, the, it's just, it's just, for me, it's like, insane for me to step back and smell the roses and be like wow yeah. I, I built that yeah and and now it's just you know it's just going to keep growing and growing and be and you just keep being i want to get it to fifty thousand, yeah. hundred thousand 100 yeah. members so it's just insane for me to see that and, and especially for a 13 year old kid to do stupid numbers like that i even saw and this is no cap you can come into the discord and ask there was a there was a 13 year old kid that made 27k and i swear to god that is legit really i swear he showed me his bank balance he showed me his bank. He showed me everything. It was all legit. And I was just like, what the absolute, like, this is just stupid. I'm sat here now, like, what am I doing? Like, <laughs> literally, like, what am I doing? But it was crazy. Um, it's, it's, it's really, it's really interesting. So, I mean, you've, you've, you've got money now, right? And it's not like, it's important because it gives you the freedom, like you said, and uh, you want to be able to provide for family and friends and your girlfriend. So money's still important. You work for that. You've also now got a community where people are, I guess in a, in a way following and listening to what you say, which yeah. is amazing. And I, I see a trend in what you have now and where you're going. And I feel like the next thing for you is some sort of like, I'm not gonna say fame, but there's gonna be some sort of public acknowledgement of you. You're smiling, why are you smiling? You reckon? Why are you smiling? No, I'm just, <laughs> I don't know, that um, just, that's, that's mad. But, but I, let's talk about Iman Gadji, for example. I don't know if you wanna go into creating content yourself and, yeah, yeah, and have a YouTube yeah, channel. And, do, yeah, yeah. But once you start doing that, you have the, the mindset and the work ethic to be successful in, in that. And you yeah. look at someone like Eman and he's he's taken over, yeah, making a, loads of money. Goat, he's isn't he? Yeah. But like he's a legend. He was like the, the person that I used to watch when I was like sixteen. Yeah. Like fifteen, sixteen, watching him being like, Oh, you know, back in the day when he made them YouTube videos and he had yeah. them ads where he popped yeah. up on the YouTube video. Yeah. He was the guy that I, I used to watch all the time and I still watch his content all the time because he's like, just what he says is just so knowledgeable. Like you can just tell, you can tell the difference between someone that's made a lot of money and someone that is very, very, very knowledgeable. They, they are a very smart individual and they've made money for a reason. They've not yeah. got lucky. They've not found like a specific, it's he so has true. made money for a reason because he's so smart. Yeah. And it's just like, I, that's what I want to take on. Like I want to take that same approach because you know, I don't like, not many of my, like I, I want to be able to like, be like, cause I think knowledge is just so, so powerful. And it's like reading books and stuff like that. It's like, I don't know whether it's because I'm a little like a little nerd, but yeah. I just like retaining more, the more knowledge and the more information you know, the better that you can do and the better, the just, just, it just improves your life so much. And I can tell Iman reads so much because yeah. you can just, you just tell by the way he speaks that he, he does, he picks up so much stuff from different books mm. and stuff like that and just applies it to his life. Yeah. He said something interesting to me when I had him on the podcast. He said he said something like, "Most people that look like geniuses aren't. Yeah. All they did is just take one step forward, reassess the situation, take a different path, a new path, take another step forward, learn, gain some knowledge, and to keep going consistently." Yeah. And because he started at fourteen years old, similar to people in your Discord, he's now got to a point at twenty-two where he's like, "I've come a long way. Yeah. I now have a lot of money yeah, yeah. because I've put so I've taken so many steps forward and learned so much." Yeah. Um, Crazy, 
the guy the guy is a le- the guy's yeah, a legend he is a legend, he? He is a legend. Yeah. is there anyone else that you look at and think i would i would like that i would like to be i guess like that person or have what they have um so i never i never really look at it like that yeah so i never look at people and go oh i wish i had what they have because then i feel like you get in a game of comparing yourself to others and and you sort of like it's like everyone's on their own race mm. everyone's on their own path and it's like you just have a different car to everyone else yeah. and you they started before you yeah, or, yeah. or so it's like it i always say to people like don't focus on the person that's in front of you driving a, a mercedes c class like imagine you're on one road right and you're you know you just started onto the road and that person's way ahead mm. but you you got to realize sometimes that people have people everyone's on their own journey and people have started that path before you did so yeah. they're going to be ahead of you so don't focus on them because you know you're on your own path focus on your own journey and focus on the the different routes that you have to take yeah. to get to the destination that you want and it's not always going to be a straight line it's not always going to be a straight long motorway you're going to have to take off junctions you're going to have to take off detours you're going to yeah. have to go round roundabouts what i'm trying to say is you're going to have to take different paths to what you think might be the path that you have to take you're always going to have to take alternate routes to get to the final destination and yeah i never really compare to others because it's like i'm on my own path i know what i can achieve i just sort of like that matthew matthew mcconaughey saying i want to compare myself to be like i want to chase where i'm going to be in two years because i know that i'm going to be better than you know where i am now but yeah what you said is um who do i look up to i look up to um from when i first started i looked looked up to reese wabara Okay. He's the owner of MDV. Mm-hmm. Um, he had a lot of inspiration um, and a lot of um, just the way he thinks is yeah. just unbelievable. Like the stuff he posts on his story, like the notes and yeah. the daily um, daily game and stuff he does. Like yeah. he's a he's a very smart guy. And um, George Heaton represent as I was well. Just about to say, George. I love represent. So I even got it tattooed on me. No, you yeah, didn't. Yeah, that, that's what that was the first T-shirt I got. That was on the back of their t-shirt. No, show the cam. Does George know you've got that? Yeah, I met Mike um, oh, yeah, yeah. and he followed me. In, um, I met him in Selfridges and he was like, yo, bro, that's so sick. Wow. Blah, blah, blah. And then I walked off and he come and grabbed me. He was like, oh, what's your Instagram? I'll follow you. Yeah. Um, and yeah, both Matt. of them have seen it. Um, that's cool. George didn't say anything about it. He just he just saw the message and yeah, didn't yeah. reply. But, no, fair, fair. But Mike saw it and was like, yo, that's so sick. But yeah, um, those two are goats as well, just to think, just what, what they've done, the way that they orchestrate their, their team, the way that they've got such a sick team around a brand mm. and the way that they have built an empire of, Anyone would like, I've got like 15 pieces of represent yeah. in my, in my cloak, in my, I walk down the street and everyone's wearing represent. Yeah, yeah, it's true. So it's like, it's crazy to see what they built. They've done well. And their outlook on life as well. Just like the way that they're so disciplined. Like I don't drink as well. Yeah. I, like, I've not drank an alcohol. I've not drank alcohol in like, what do you do? Like what, a year what, what, what do you do in the club when you go to the club? At least on those Red Bulls. Yeah. yeah I yeah. just, I, I just, oh, this is so stupid, but I still buy bottles in the club I just don't drink them eh like I just give them to my friends okay or like I'll just or for the girls to come no 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 I've got a girlfriend I've got a girlfriend okay fair 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 fair. but they give it to the girls oh okay Um, but yeah I don't drink because I just to me I feel like and I know this is not controversial but I feel like drink is just the devil like I don't I don't drink well I think drink is bad like really bad for you like I think that that will like that could change like that could because it's like I, we used to go out and then I would get back and then it was like it's such a demotivator it, it just is. makes you not want to wake up and do any work yeah. you just want to sit in bed and do nothing yeah. so it's like yeah that, that's what I don't drink just... if, if, if alcohol wasn't legal and we just somehow invented it today would alcohol be legal do you think I looking at looking question. at what it does and how many people it kills every year the, addic- the addiction side of it if it was today invented, I don't think it would be legal. I think it would. You think it would? Because they make too much money from it. Now they do. But you could say if cocaine was invented today, yeah. would we... You can make loads of money yeah. from cocaine. That's true. I just think if, if it wasn't such a... In, if it wasn't so embedded into our culture and history, yeah. I'm not sure we would do as much of it. But yeah. I agree with you. I, I don't drink unless it's like an event or something. This but. is a bit mad, but I feel like alcohol is legal for a reason. And I know it's a bit conspiracy theorist, but... I feel like it's a, it's a, I feel like it is there to make people demotivated and really? make people really? stay in the matrix. <laughs> I know that sounds mad, but genuinely 
The amount of people that will go to the club or go to the pub, drink, and then not want to do anything. Yeah. And that's, it's like... No, people, people look right, this to is, it. I'm going to say something mad here, but when the Roman emperor had his society start to disagree with what he, what he was doing, he built, he built, he, he sent them to the circus. He built coliseums, he built games to distract them from the reason that the, the, the Roman empire was so bad. And I think that's the same with this country. And I, I know it's mad, mm. but I feel like stuff like that is just is set there to be like, it's a distraction for people to be like, so many people, and, and I know it firsthand that people in my town, they like they literally live for the yeah, weekend. I can't believe They it. live for going out, getting drunk, and, and that's what they live for. It's mad. They live for drinking at, at, a, at a pub, and, and then they'll recycle it. Monday to Friday, they work. Oh, on the Monday, oh, I can't wait till Saturday. I can't it's wait to go stupid, out again. Man. And honestly, it's like a cycle. Yeah. And people are people are constantly waiting to the weekend to drink. And then it's the same again on Monday. They'll wait yeah. to the weekend yeah. to go out with their friends, drink. And you might think, oh, oh he's a, he's such a part. He's such a fucking miserable. I'm, I'm not even saying it to be like, don't get me wrong. I like to have I like to have fun and stuff like that. But you're literally every single week just focusing focusing on stupid stuff that doesn't even matter. Having conversations with people that don't matter. Yeah. And you're just getting yeah. drunk and being stuck in you know a ways of you're you're constantly ticking over and doing the same thing every weekend. What like do you not want to do something more than just living in the same town that you grew up in, going to a pub and doing the exact same thing every single uh, every single week? And it's because, and and this is another thing. Comfortability is a drug. Mm. People get so comfortable within their means, and and and, and it's it's the same reason of if you get in bed and start scrolling on TikTok, you'll find it so hard to get out of bed and start doing work because it's easy to make a bad habit, but it's so hard to make a good habit. It's so easy to make a bad habit like eating bad food or stop going to the gym. But like a lot of you will relate. Once you stop going to the gym, it's so hard to get back into it. Yeah. Like I've stopped going to the gym for a period because I've just been working so much. Mm. And now I find it hard to just find time to go to the gym. Yeah. But when I had that routine, it was like, it was so easy because it was a, it, it, and, and like I said, from, from a really good book that I read, Atomic Habits, it's, it's so easy to make bad habits where you just sit and you order shit food or you sit in bed scrolling on your phone or you'll go to the, you'll just go to the pub every weekend and, and drink and then repeat. But it's so hard to make a good habit where it's like, I'm going to do this for an hour. I'm going to work. I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to um, do mm. this because it's comfortability is a drug. Becoming comfortable is probably the worst things ever. And that's the why reason most people don't want to take the risk because people would rather be comfortable going to uni knowing full well, well, not, not necessarily, but knowing full well that at the end of, the, that, at the end of it, they're going to get a secure job. They're going to live life and be comfortable and not have to break a sweat and, and, and push themselves out of their boundaries. And that's why comfortability is a drug. And a comfortability, comfortability is a horrible thing. Once you get comfortable, it is the worst thing because it can, it's going to retract your ability to grow as a person. It's going to, and, and even like financially, that's why I said earlier that I'll always constantly be chasing the next thing. Yeah. Because if I set an, a, an, end goal, a, an end goal, like I'm going to make 10 million, once I get to that 10 million, then I'm going to be comfortable. And it's like, but some things can change just like that. That money could go like, it's, it's like that money could just disappear. Like, I know that sounds crazy, but it, it, it's so true. And if, as soon as you get comfortable, and if you get, and I know that it's so, it's so hard to explain it, but the end goal is to be financially comfortable. But for me, I just like constantly ticking and chasing because once you get comfortable, it's actually hard to like, you can, you like, honestly, everything could just go like that. Yeah. Like it's the same reason why, when we fell in that trap of going to the clubs and stuff, it's because we were com like, it was so comfortable to be like, mm. it was so easy to just, oh yeah, I'll go to the club. Mm. And it's so hard to then get back out of it yeah. because it's easy to make bad habits good. It's, it's, it's easy to make bad habits, but hard to make good ones. And I feel like once you slip into it, you'll find that it's hard to get out because like I said, comfortability is a drug and it, it can kill you. And it's, just, it's the reason why no one wants to take action. They just want to sit in bed and fucking watch YouTube or, sit and play Fortnite or sit and do things that are just like requires no you know no pushing yourself yeah. out there and putting yourself through the limit i i know i agree and um, when when you were talking about like comparing yourself to other people what i think is i'm not comparing comparing myself to someone else but almost comparing myself to how good or how successful i could be yeah. if i were to apply myself there's a there's a quote that's like the best time to plant a tree is 25 years ago. The second best time to plant a tree is today. And I'm thinking, if I started YouTube when I was 13, 50, however, 
where I would be now would be like, I'd be so much further along. Yeah, I agree, yeah. And even with businesses, you might think, damn, I wish I started when I was younger. I wish yeah. I was 13 making 6K a day. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's something that I, I don't struggle with it, but it it makes me a bit annoyed yeah. that I was I was 25 when I started YouTube, yeah, yeah. not 50, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Do you feel any of that? Do you feel any regret in that sense? But you were, you were really young anyway. Yeah, right? so I, I definitely, so there's, in a sense because I was always like I always knew sort of about drop shipping and sort of about making money online from like maybe like 14 15 okay but I was exactly like what I say like all the stuff that I've said in this podcast I was exactly like that like yeah. scared to like do anything like I was never yeah. like like I say the hardest part about anything is just starting like yeah. actually getting your foot in the door and that was that was it like I was never I always just looked at it, but I was never like, oh, you know what? I'm just going to do it. Yeah. And it's like, it's like a hamster wheel. Once you jump on the wheel, it's like, once you're actually in that world, yeah. it doesn't, it doesn't feel like so many people come into my, into my community and they're like, how many hours a day can I spend on this? Mm. Or can I do this with only spending an hour a day? And it's like, I never even look at it na- like that now. Yeah. Like it's my whole life just sort of revolves around it. Mm. Like I just sort of make it my life. I live and breathe everything you know that i do whereas it, it was exactly the same when i was 15 i was like oh do you want it if i spend like an hour like treating yeah. it like it was like yeah. homework or yeah, like yeah, uni yeah, yeah. and it's like when you do that it's like it's just you treat it like a chore but yeah. you got to enjoy it and i think yeah you got to enjoy the moment so linking back to you got to enjoy when you're working so linking back to what you said yes i sort of not regret because i don't re- i don't really live life with any regrets but I do sort of think, oh, I wish I'd started earlier. I wish I'd done this before. I wish I'd done, you know, I wish I'd maybe started dropshipping before I was seven, like maybe even 16. Yeah. But I will always think, like like I said, I think always, I, I think that I'm on a certain path for a reason and I'm on this path for a specific reason and that, you know, I just have to keep going with that path. Yeah. And instead of looking back, looking forward. Yeah. So it's like, I will never compare, I'll never be like, oh, like I wish I did this or I wish I did that or I wish I, because if you start to get bogged down by things that are in your past that you can't change, Mm. then you're just going to eat yourself alive. And it's like, I always say, it's like, never worry about things that you literally physically cannot change. So if it's like, if there's things that are in the past that have happened, that's all said and done. You cannot do anything to change that. There is nothing that you can do physically to change the 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 period of that event or the period of that time mm. all you can do is think about the present and think about the future and just look about going forward yeah. instead of looking backwards and just keep keep pushing on yeah do you think like what what is the next step for you then is it is it the the content stuff yeah so YouTube? i think um i think i love the discord that i've got the community econ palace is like one of the best things i've ever done honestly like not even you know just mentally like mm. i love waking up and just like it just keeps me do it like i'll yeah. just be i can just speak to loads of people give mm. people advice blah 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 and i just love doing it um but yeah i think the next step is um definitely sort of making more content um you know it's like talking to a camera yeah, yeah. Um, but you have an audience already if you've got 18 exactly cam, you've got a community of almost 20k yeah. people well I, I i just got 50k on my personal tiktok in really? two in like a month and a half there you go. um yeah. so yeah like a month a month and a half i started like a month and a half ago almost at 50k followers um but the content is more like it's more like lifestyle content oh is it yeah so it's sort oh of yeah i've like, seen it i've seen yeah. it um it's, but, ba- it's basically just flexing really isn't pretty it? much <laughs> quotes on it and stuff like that yeah, yeah, yeah. but i definitely do want to get into the more of a you know sitting in front of a camera making content talking about stuff because i love talking anyway like i i'll, I'll go into um like in my discord there's like so many calls like in the call record so we save all the calls that we do so there's yeah. like 50 60 plus hours of calls um and 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 when i get into the zone of being motivational i'll be on a call with all of them lot and they'll be like, holy shit, like I've never thought of it like that or yeah. this, this and that. And I just love talking anyway. So to get in front of a camera with a with a mic or something like that and just talk yeah. and make content is definitely something that I 
do want to do because yeah, I just yeah. feel like for personal brands reasons and stuff like that yeah, yeah. it's just it, something it, that it, I want to do it would really help your community yeah. your, it, it, like if you get a U- YouTube and start doing it on TikTok or streaming or whatever your your Econ Palace community could grow so big it's, it's kind of like what E-Man's done with the yeah. Gents Croquet Club Without right doubt, yeah. um, dude it's exciting yeah like it's honestly it's it's scary to think where you could be in like even just a year yeah it's it, re- it really is but Dude, it's been it's been good to chat. Yeah. Is there Thank anything you else you wanna I wanna say? Do you wanna plug anything? Um yeah, obviously my Instagram is um H K V I B I N G H K Vibin. Yeah, like um it. and yeah, plug in the Discord if anyone, you know, like shameless plug, but if any of you do want to learn about, you know, drop shipping and organic and anything like that, and just wanna join a community as well that's just like an educational community where we all help each other we all like push each other forwards and you might not have that in your in the in the area that you're from and you might not have friends that are actually even interested in doing anything like that because i know it's hard to be it is a lonely game um you know if you don't even have friends that are interested in it and you're all do, you're doing it all by yourself mm. you might sometimes feel a bit um like unheard or feel a bit you know you might even feel a bit like on unwa- not unwanted but a bit like no one cares about it. like everyone thinks this is stupid yeah but you know in our community you know we all help each other um and yeah we also teach each other and it's also free to join mm-hmm. um like it is there is a free section as well okay so it's not just a paid section there's a free section in the discord so you know feel free to hop in we do free calls as well where we mm-hmm. just do a call for everyone that's even if you haven't paid or whatever you know hop in and we can you know even you can even ask whatever question you want to me and i'll answer that yeah so um yeah feel free to join that um and yeah that's it i've Thoroughly enjoyed hopping on the podcast with you. Honestly, I appreciate it. it. I'll put all your details in the description yeah. for if people are watching or listening, wherever it is. Yeah. Um, so you can follow this man. You don't know his first name, neither do I. <laughs> um, but yeah, follow this guy and uh, yeah, hopefully start watching more content yeah. of yours soon. Yeah, that, that's got to come. Um, but yeah, mate, if you want to make money, just go follow this guy, pretty much. I appreciate um, anyone as well taking the time out of the day just to watch what yeah. i have to say you know i always say this at the end of a call when i do it in my even though they might have paid or whatever i always say you know i appreciate you know sitting here and watching my yeah. podcast because you could be doing other things but you're sat here listening and watching to me and that might be one step closer instead mm. of you know sitting around doing fuck all or sitting around scrolling on tiktok or sitting around s- scrolling on tiktok <laughs> in in a bad way yeah yeah or yeah. you know playing Fortnite or FIFA or whatever it is you sitting down and watching this could be a step in the right direction of where you know you want to be so I appreciate you listening to what I have to say yeah it's been really good a lot of value and uh, yeah see you in the next one guys much love bye bye happy days man cheese that was good that was really good thank you bro